These are baby snails. Look at the shell, the protoconch. At the moment, the shell is still very thin. That's because the snail hasn't eaten lots of food with calcium in it yet to make the shell hard. And can you see the slippery mucus underneath the baby snail's body? When something's slippery, we say that it has less friction. A bit like this. If I rub my hands together, friction stops them from moving too quickly. But if I add some hand lotion, look, the slippery lotion makes it much easier to move them back and forward, just like the snail's foot and the slippery mucus help the snail to move forward. But to understand how the foot and the mucus work together, I think we should use one of my special cameras. Chris has put a garden snail on a clear sheet and I've attached this to my special camera. It's called a probe lens and it's going to help us see underneath the snail's foot in more detail. Okay, Chris. Wow, that is all of the mucus and I can see it there. Oh. <laughs> it makes the surface slippery so it's easier for the snail to glide along. This is incredible. But a snail needs more than mucus to move. Can you see the snail's body ripples as it moves forward? Those ripples are the snail's muscles working to help it move. The snail is squeezing and relaxing its muscles over and over. Wow. Watch more on BBC iPlayer.